Yo, what up? Welcome back to the channel. Pelosi's visit, shaking things up, China's reaction, and it says that the U.S. is committed to the security of Taiwan, uh, which is going to ultimately lead to a war with China eventually at some point. It said that China is going to be doing live fire drills starting this Thursday, which is tomorrow. This article from The Guardian, I'll post it in the description and in the comments as well. What up YouTube, what's going down? Hope everyone's having a good morning. I uh, wanted to make a video right quick uh, talking about uh, Pelosi yesterday and China's threat concerning Pelosi's visit to Taiwan. So, China is an entity to be taken seriously. But what's interesting is it seems that they bluffed. Why would they do something like that? Why would they make serious threats threatening not just the Speaker of the House, but literally threatening the United States? Why would they do that and then not take action and back it up? It, it makes them lose credibility, but also it shows that they're playing some sort of game. There's, there's a reason that they did that. And I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to make sense of it at this moment. And sometimes it's... It can be challenging to see the silver lining in the moment, especially when it comes to governments and, and how sneaky they are and manipulative, how, how they will do things uh, for diversion and distraction. But then sometimes they also, I think sometimes some of these entities, they do stuff and say stuff just to see what the other will do. Maybe they wanted to see if you know what we would say, what our government would say, what we would do, our reaction to it. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to uh, see as the days and weeks uh, transpire and just see how it goes and, and, and see ultimately if uh, um, something does go down. I feel in my spirit that Russia and China are planning something. Uh, because it, it's interesting that China said that they didn't want to get involved. Um, they weren't taking any action. I can't remember exactly how they worded it. I'm paraphrasing, but they said that they weren't going to get involved or that Russia, that's Russia's business or whatever, you know, with Ukraine. Um, but you can see that, uh, that these two superpowers, Russia and China, are making moves. Uh, Russia invading Ukraine, and here it is, China is about to invade uh, Taiwan at probably any moment. China's been building up their military, specifically in the South China Sea and the Pacific Ocean, man-made islands with uh, landing strips and military bases. Uh, over the last 20 years, they've, they've built up their navy big time. Now, I don't know how big our military is, how many soldiers we have, but... Um, I don't, I don't know if our, our Air Force and our Navy can compete with that. Um, people say, uh, well, the United States, we've got a better army. I mean, do we? China's got all the same weapons. They got hypersonic missiles that do like, what, 5,000 miles an hour? If they launched one of their nukes at the west coast of the United States, it would hit Los Angeles in about an hour and a half. Anybody ever think about that? What I'm thinking about at this moment is why would China do that? Why would they make a threat and then not back it up? That's that's strange to me. It's real strange. So, I guess, like I said, we'll have to just see how it goes. Um, if you guys have any thoughts about this, feel free to drop a comment. As always, I appreciate y'all. Uh, I got to get to work over here. And uh, I'll be uh, posting uh, another video or two later on today as well about uh, some other topics that... Uh, are of interest to all of us. All right, y'all have a good day. Check y'all later.